New this story about the case of a Dundee high school teacher who allegedly raped a 14-year-old. Now it's been postponed to next week. It's believed that he's been grooming girls for many years and has gone unpunished. Protesters gathered outside court today. Our reporter in KZN, Letiwe Mjuli, following the story and joining us now live for an update from our studios in Devon. Letiwe, uh, good afternoon. I understand the accused will appear in court again next week. How has the reaction been on this matter? especially the victim's family. Well, but then the community in Dandy is very, very angry about this incident. Um, we went there earlier on to attend the court appearance of the alleged rapist. And it was a short appearance today. Um, the case was postponed to next week, Monday. But I got a chance to speak to the community members who were protesting outside, demanding for the teacher to not be released, to not get bail. And I also got a chance to speak to the family members of the young girl. And they are very traumatized and obviously um, saddened by this. I spoke to her grandfather who shared how they have not been able to sleep since Friday trying to piece together information because what the family is saying is that um, the girl was raped on Friday morning at the school premises and they were not told or called by the school um, about this incident. It was only when they, her father actually went to the school to fetch her in the afternoon when she alerted him of what had happened, happened to her and that was when the family went to the school to get answers about this incident. We we're also told by the community that after this incident took place, um, the teacher was not arrested at the time. The school did not deal with him. He was able to just roam around the school premises and that's what also angers the family and also the community members so much that no action was taken by the school allegedly. Uh, we have not been able to speak to any of the people at the school, the principal. Um, he did not want to speak to us. We also got a chance to speak to, his, to the grandfather who shared how they've been dealing with the situation since Friday. And while speaking to him outside the courts, this is what he had to say. Firstly, the department should have been at the school this morning. Nobody came there. Mr. Pagati from the department came about 9 o'clock. Apparently they called him in there. And uh, we confronted him and asked him, why do you come only now, you know? I mean, it's, it's your school and it's your child. You're supposed to protect the child. But there's no answer to it, you know. They, in actual fact, we, we are disappointed that Ashka should have been suspended, number one. The school should be closed to further notice, whereby they iron out every other uh, teachers who are in that school who know about these things, investigate the school, and then only reopen. Otherwise, other children in that school are very unsafe. Uh, and let's what about local authorities? What have they told you? Well, but then we've been able to speak to the mayor, um, the local mayor in Dundee, and we were getting a reaction from him just to hear what they think about the situation. And they're obviously calling for him to be remanded in custody, and they are calling for the law to take its place. But what is very, um, very sad about the story as well is that um, the community and former students at the school that I spoke to are alleging that this teacher had previous allegations against him from previous schools that he used to teach in, but no action was taken. Um, the only thing that happened to him was that he resigned from those previous schools and he started working at Dandy High School. And they were questioning how he was allowed to be a teacher while he had these allegations against him. The former pupil of Dandy High School that I spoke to, he even shared that he saw the teacher most of the time um, fraternizing with young girls at the school, offering them lifts after school, and also giving them some gifts when it was Valentine's Day. So they are saying that this has been going on for years, and they are calling for the school to take action because they are accusing the school, especially the principal, of not taking action while he knew that this was happening. While speaking to the mayor, though, um, he did say that they, they hope that the police investigate further, and this um, teacher will face the full might of the law. While speaking to him, this is what he had to say. We condemn it. We cannot allow such thing to happen in our area. 
We need to defend our children. We need to protect our children by all means and by all costs. This is not uh, totally not allowed. And uh, as a teacher, is supposed to be their parent and is supposed to be protecting our children. And whenever the, 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 the parents are going to work, they take their children to school. And then they are expecting that the teachers will also become their parents and the, their children are going to be protected. Now, this allegation that now the principal knows about this, uh, raised the, 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 that issue that why was he hiding it? Okay, the case has been postponed to next week. Thank you very much, uh, Lady William Juli, uh, for that uh, update of that uh, case of a Dundee, Dundee school teacher in KwaZulu Natal who's been accused of rape.